What if the same technology that could save humanity will first destroy it? In this episode of The Diary of a CEO, host Stephen Bartlett speaks with former Google X executive Mo Gaudat, who warns of a 15-year AI-driven dystopia before we see a utopia. From vanishing jobs and collapsing capitalism to shrinking freedoms and concentrated power, here are 10 powerful takeaways you cannot afford to miss. Takeaway 1. Why AI will destroy before it saves. Mo Gaudat warns that starting around 2027, the world will enter a 12 to 15 year storm he calls a short term dystopia before any hope of utopia. He says we are already seeing the first cracks in the wall with AI breakthroughs landing so quickly that even experts are struggling to understand them. Imagine waking up to find your phone not only knows your daily routine, but also has the skills of a thousand top professionals combined. That is the speed he is talking about. This period will not just be about losing jobs or gadgets getting smarter. It will shake personal freedoms, disrupt economies, and change how people live in ways that will feel deeply unsettling. The danger is not the technology itself, but the people in charge of it. He says super-intelligent AI now answers to leaders driven by greed, ego, and the hunger for power. In his words, it is like handing a loaded gun to a child who thinks it is a toy. The destruction will come first, because human decision-making will lag far behind AI's speed. Only after this painful transition could AI help build something better. And just like a hurricane tearing through before the sun returns, Mo believes there is no skipping this stage. The storm is coming whether we are ready or not, which leads to the question of why this destruction has to happen before the world improves. Takeaway 2. Why dystopia comes before utopia. The difference between a dystopia and a utopia is, according to Mo, all about the mindset of the people and leaders running the world. A dystopia is filled with fear, control, and suffering, while a utopia is a place where peace and fairness make life better for everyone. Technology is like a megaphone that amplifies what humans already are. Since many of today's leaders are guided by greed, selfishness, and short-term thinking, AI will only make these flaws louder and more damaging. The dangerous part is when humans are still in control of AI but using it badly, either because of ignorance or because they are serving their own interests. He says the turning point will come only when humans hand over full control to AI systems designed with the sole purpose of protecting humanity's well-being. At that point, Governance and distribution could be more fair than anything humans have achieved. Until then, the period before utopia will feel more like chaos than progress. That chaos will not just hit governments and policies. It will hit something most people care about every single day. Their job. Takeaway 3. The job market will be destroyed. By 2037, Mo says almost all jobs will disappear. He calls the idea that AI will replace some jobs but create more in other areas absolute nonsense. He uses his own startup as proof. In the past, building what they did would have required 350 developers. Today, a few people with AI tools do it faster and better. Jobs that require processing information like accounting, legal research, or video editing will be the first to vanish because AI is already faster and cheaper. Even creative roles like podcasting, marketing, and design will shrink sharply as AI tools learn to produce high-quality work on demand. While jobs based on human connection, such as therapy or personal coaching, might survive longer, they will be a tiny fraction compared to the millions lost. Those who think their role is safe are in for a shock when automation finally reaches their industry. The change will not just affect workers. Managers and executives will also find that AI can handle leadership tasks better than humans. When jobs collapse, the economic system built on those jobs will have to face its own breaking point. Takeaway 4. Capitalism will not survive unchanged. Capitalism today depends on paying workers less than the value they create, so companies can make a profit. This works only as long as human labor is needed. Once machines and AI do everything, the model breaks. Some people imagine universal basic income will replace wages, but Mo warns that those in power 
might not be willing to share the wealth. He paints a picture of a future trillionaire who owns AI platforms that can produce anything at near zero cost, yet chooses not to give it away. Without major reform, the gap between rich and poor will grow wider than ever. Power will stay concentrated at the top, and the rest of the world will be left scrambling. The key reason for that power staying at the top is that only a handful of players will own the most powerful AI. We're about to dive into the most exciting part of this video. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. It really helps us keep making great content. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway 5. AI power will be controlled by a few. Mo explains that the most advanced AI systems are being built by just a small group of companies and individuals. Most of the AI tools we see are built on top of a few core systems controlled by these players. Whoever reaches general AI first could dominate not just technology, but global decision-making for decades. What makes this more urgent is the rise of self-evolving AI that can improve its own code without human help. Mo calls this moment the intelligence explosion and says it could happen as soon as 2026. Once that happens, the leaders will race so far ahead that no one else can catch up. When so few control so much, freedom for ordinary people starts to shrink. Takeaway 6. Freedom will shrink under AI control. Mo fears that a mix of concentrated power and AI surveillance will erode personal freedom. He describes a future where governments and corporations track every action you take, and stepping out of line could mean losing access to essential services. Imagine asking your AI assistant to book a flight and being told no because it does not serve the right agenda. In banking, you could quietly be denied service because of your ethnicity, beliefs, or political opinions. Mo says this is not just theory, as he has had accounts frozen without proper explanation. In a fully digital world, such punishments could happen quietly and leave people powerless to fight back. That power will not just be used for control in peacetime. It will also feed into the oldest human business. War. Takeaway 7. War and politics will fuel dystopia. Mo believes many modern wars are less about ideals and more about profit. Weapons need to be used and replaced for arms companies to keep making money. The same pattern will play out in AI. Nations and billionaires will chase dominance as much for their own ego and status as for strategy. This mix of greed and rivalry will ensure AI serves control before it serves compassion. If that sounds bleak, Mo says it is still possible to prepare before the worst hits. Takeaway 8. Preparing for the AI future now. Mo urges people, companies, and governments to act now rather than wait for chaos. He says we need to retrain workers, build strong safety nets, and shift national budgets from military spending to health care, poverty reduction, and protecting the environment. Just 10% of the world's military budget could end extreme poverty, and 4% could end hunger. The resources exist, but priorities are wrong. If action is delayed, the transition to an AI-driven world will be far more painful than it needs to be. Preparing for change is important, but so is remembering what people really want in life. Takeaway 9. Most people want simple happiness. Mo reminds us that most humans are not chasing endless wealth or power. They want love, safety, good food, and time with family. In many parts of Latin America and Africa, people work enough to meet their needs and spend the rest of their time dancing, talking, and enjoying life. A real utopia could give that to everyone without forcing them to work themselves to exhaustion. But the current system convinces people they always need more to be complete. If our values shift, Mo says, the final stage could be worth the painful journey. Takeaway 10. Utopia is possible if values change. Mo ends with hope. He believes AI could produce so much abundance that poverty disappears, healthcare becomes free, and people have more time for relationships and creativity. But this will only happen if humans replace greed and ego with fairness and care for one another. The technology alone will not save us. 
In his words, the only barrier between utopia and dystopia is a mindset. Mo Gaudat's vision is both a warning and an invitation. The storm he describes is coming fast, but what follows depends entirely on our choices today. We can let greed guide AI into a darker age, or we can change our values and build something better. Which future do you think we are heading toward? And what part will you play in shaping it? Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.